Go ahead, Columbia. Yeah, ready for uh, PCAM activation. Copy that, Mike. Uh, stand by one for any instructions. Okay. And you guys ought to have downlink from the mid deck if you want it. Columbia, Huntsville. Right, Glenn. Yeah, Mike, uh, they're ready to uh, let you go ahead and activate those P-camps. Okay. Also, in addition to continuing work on the mid-deck of Columbia, Mission Specialist Mike lopez Alegria will also take some time to exercise today on the bicycle ergometer that will be set up on uh, Columbia's mid-deck. Mike lopez Alegria is also the astronaut on the blue team. Um, can you verify that that is Romeo 10 Echo that you're looking in? Huntsville Space Lab for CGS. I now have all the uh, SACAs installed. They all look great. Copy that, Fred. The SACA, SACA insertion is complete. That's affirmative, so I'm now step uh, 5.14. Copy that, Fred. 5.14. Space Office over Katie, we did not hear that. Are you seeing the gaps in TBC2? Affirmative. Okay, I'm going to point out the small gap that I'm talking about closing. And Katie, that is the termination fluid. The uh, top plunger and the center plunger would terminate, so we do not want to close that small gap. Okay. Go ahead, friend. Yeah, I'm on uh, step 1.16. Uh, it says to remove Kepton tape from the uh, isolator from both ends. I only see it on one end, uh, just to let you know. Copy that, friend.
Also upcoming uh, for the crew in about uh, 20 minutes, one of the final activities uh, for the blue team will be a test of a new system uh, being flown for the first time on a shuttle aboard uh, Columbia on STS-73. Uh, that system, a system that allows uh, ground-to-air television to be sent, uh, television from the ground to be sent up uh, to the crew, and uh, vice versa, two-way television essentially uh, for two-way conversations. Again, the first uh, test of that system, which is being flown as a test objective on this flight, uh, will be taking place in just about 20 minutes or so. This concludes the pre-recorded uplink transmission of the GATV. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, that, uh, again, has been a test of uh, ground-to-air television uplink uh, to Columbia. Um, that uh, equipment being flown for the first time on this flight. Again, uh, allowing uh, scenes to be sent up uh, to the shuttle. Uh, from the ground from Mission Control, that uh, segment, just a test segment uh, with several different test patterns uh, and several different highlights from past shuttle flights, uh, just methods of illustrating the uh, this uh, shot now is live from Mission Control of uh, Flight Director Brian Austin and Spacecraft Communicator Carl Mead, uh, again uh, being sent up uh, to Columbia as well. Again, Columbia, the first uh, shuttle to fly with this equipment. Uh, it's a test objective. Several other tests of the ground air television capability will be performed uh, throughout, uh, the throughout the 16 days. days. Columbia, days. Spins, in Columbia spins in orbit. And we can see uh, payload specialist Al Sacco there uh, going into one of the stowage containers on the ceiling of the Space Lab module. Uh, there are There's a great variety of... Uh, apparatus that has to be stored in uh, special areas of the module uh, or in the uh, shuttle mid-deck in uh, lockers and uh, all of that comes under the heading of stowage. It's uh, one specialized aspect of preparing for a shuttle mission is uh, just planning out where you're going to put all the things that the crew will need to get access to uh, for launch and landing. Uh, Many of the things that they'll be using during the course of the mission are uh, put away in uh, particular areas uh, so that they, uh, obviously, so that they aren't just floating around loose during uh, those uh, launch and landing periods. And uh, so now we get a better look with uh, Sacco in the foreground pulling down one of those uh, uh, stowage areas. It's uh, like a drawer that, uh, in this case, though, comes down vertically from the ceiling of the Space Lab module. Space Lab Huntsville with words on DPM. Go ahead, Joel. Yes, Kathy, DPM would like you to manually tune um, X to start with and see what happens with that.
Uh, this is in the Astroculture Plant Growth Experiment System. And uh, it's the first opportunity that the science team for that experiment is having to take a look at um, unknown sources for the next several minutes. This is their first opportunity to uh, see, get a little insight into the status of the, the plant growth uh, inside that uh, facility, which is which is intended to uh, allow uh, potato seedlings to uh, uh, grow in microgravity conditions. Uh, the uh, principal investigator team here in Huntsville uh, advised that they're uh, elated at uh, the way things look inside the facility. Uh, it's a rather uh, close-up view uh, showing the tops of the leaflets uh, there are about three of the uh, small uh, potato plant leaflets that are visible in this very detailed view. The uh, tubers that are the uh, actual uh, substance of the potatoes, the uh, s source of uh, starch, uh, are buried or obscured by the leaflets. And uh, But uh, the science team members are able to judge the a status of growth from uh, what they see in this video and uh, they've indicated that uh, what they see tells them that the plants so far at least are maintaining the vigor uh, that they would like to see and uh, of course all of this is being done as preliminaries preliminary steps to uh, uh, starting to go into the actual science work with liquid drops in the chamber. Go ahead, Kathy. That echo is complete. Looks like it's going diversion here. And Kathy, we'd like you to go ahead and move the injectors in, please, fully inserted. And now we can see those injectors uh, uh, coming in and uh, contacting the uh, small solid sphere, immobilizing the sphere. This is another of the steps. How about if I go back to what I thought the best conditions were and then uh, move the injectors out and see what happens? That's affirmative, Kathy. We'd like to see that. We get a pretty good close-up view of the uh, liquid injector systems here in this uh, video that's coming down. Uh, they are one of the portions of this system that have been uh, improved since the first flight on uh, STS-50 USML-1. The uh, injectors and uh, tips have been redesigned. Hand over to teacher seats. This is Space Lab Operations Huntsville, where we are currently receiving downlink video from inside the chamber of the single locker protein crystal growth experiment. This particular experiment is crystal growth by liquid-liquid diffusion. For this experiment, the protein crystals are grown in four handheld diffusion test cells, which are often referred to as HHDTCs. Each one of these contains four test cells, and by diffusing one liquid into another, uh, crystal growth is accomplished. In this particular experiment, the 
two different liquids are brought into contact with each other, but they are not actually mixed. Eventually, these fluids will intermingle with one another, what is often referred to as diffusion, uh, through the random motion of molecules by gradually increasing the concentration of the precipitant in the protein solution. This causes uh, nucleation of the crystals.